Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and we are still in the remodeling process of this home. If you remember back in my House Honey 101 video, Southern California market rates are like at an all time high. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, which means I'll be putting a lot of love into this home and renovating and remodeling little bits and pieces that's gonna bring me joy. I recently switched up the window treatments in my husband's office using blinds.com and I am in love with a fresh modern update. Before we get started, I want to tell you that this video is not sponsored. I wanted to share a very real and honest review based on the blinds.com process from ordering to installation. I want to show you that custom window treatments can be accessible to everyone out there without ever having to leave your home. Now let's talk about the before office and why I decided to make this switch now. When we moved into the home, I really just wanted to get anything up on the windows. It needed to be functional, to block the light, it needed to have the privacy he needed in the office and still allow a certain amount of daylight to filter through because clearly it's almost like a dark dungeon in there with the dark walls. I had a ton of shears left over from my previous studio so we just installed those guys right up and here we are six, seven years later and he's still using the same shears. While bunched up shears might not be the most aesthetically pleasing or stylish option for his office, I mean it really just did the job which is why we never swapped it out. However, now that he's been working from home a whole lot more and he spends all day in the office, so you'll get this beautiful morning light streaming through the shears during the daytime and by the afternoon the sunlight is hot. It gets really offensive to the point where sometimes he just throws a towel over the windows just so that he can block that heat, which clearly now it means these shears are no longer functional. I wanted to look for a better option on blinds.com that was not only more functional, efficient, and stylish, it would really pull together the whole office's look based on my original intention. When I say it's really important to understand your project's aesthetic, style, needs, function, and condition, this is precisely why. Once you understand your ultimate wish list, it makes it so much easier to whittle down the perfect product that will suit your condition and needs. My husband's office has two windows side by side. You'll see that there's a little break in the middle, so I could have done one of two things. I could have measured the entire expanse of the width of both windows and customized one full window shade option or I could break it up into two smaller windows and install inside mount roller shades, which is the option I ended up going for. I wanted him to have full control of privacy and daylight in the space. He could either access one window at a time or both simultaneously, so it actually gives him full control. Let's jump right to the blinds.com website and take a look around. Start with the style. They have everything from blinds to drapery treatments to shades to Roman shades, woven wood blinds, bamboo shades, roller shades, and solar shades. You can also start with your inspiration. Filter by the room so you can see what people are doing and get inspired to use it in your own space. How to measure for your inside mount roller shades. Use a steel measuring tape. Measure to the nearest 1 8 of an inch. If the size is on the 1 16th of an inch mark, then round down to the next 1 8 of an inch. If you're measuring for more than one window, measure each one individually. Never assume that your windows are the same size, even if they might look alike. Also, never assume that your windows are the same size from top to bottom and side to side. Measure the width from side to side on top, repeat the same steps on bottom, and repeat the same steps for the height from the left to the right side. Blinds.com actually has a great cheat sheet to show you how to measure your windows for shades, whether it's inside mount or outside mount. So we are in my husband's office. He went into work today. I never show you his office because, oh my God, it is always a mess. I mean, look at this. 
aside from the three monitors clearly you know i love me some kobe bryant but that's just like not the vibe in here at all his tech corner just drives me nuts um anyways so here is his desktop he, i'm not even i'm not even going to discuss that but anyways what we're here to do is uh, figure out the window treatment options that i'm going to install for him so we currently have these shears and we literally have these shears because when we moved in i just put them up because the afternoon sun is so crazy and here we are six years later and i haven't done a thing you know they say an interior designer's home is like the last to be prioritized and that's the truth i mean i'm prioritizing my clients and don't prioritize my home so here is what we have on the board um these are all samples from blinds.com and i actually have custom uh, shade vendors that i use time and time again but what i wanted to do was grab these samples so that i could at least review blinds.com and let you guys know if they're a viable online custom window shades and drapery treatment option so the color story in here is like a very gray slate blue it's a really beautiful color on the walls um, and what i wanted to do was remove these shears and do either an inset window light filtering shade or maybe mount it right on the outside. I haven't decided on the mounting option yet, but I'm whittling down the picks for the actual uh, light filtering options. Okay, so here we are on lines.com and I've chosen the Aubrey Sea Mist. Um, I always wait until there's a sale. It's 4th of July is coming up. I get 30% off. You're going to choose your mount. Inside mount is what I want. I want it inside the window frame, not on the outside. And that's great when the window is kind of right within your reach and it has a very specific and consistent width and height. So the width is 43 inches, the height is 36 and a quarter, and you really just have to measure it as exactly as you can. You choose your color. I've chosen Aubrey C. Mist and then you toggle down to select the type of lift. So if you, you have a corded lift, it's just an exposed cord, the corded to top down, bottom up, which is cool because that's great for privacy. Um, continuous cord loop is what I most often specify because there's a continuous cord. There's no like crazy dangling cords. It kind of just installs right on the inside of the window frame. Cordless is cool too because you can just raise it up and down. Motorized wand, obviously there's a wand, you just press it and then it just comes up and down and then motorized with a remote is great because if you're just kind of laying in bed or sitting at your office desk, you don't even have to get up. So I'm choosing the style flat with the valance because I love that look. It has a little fold on top, no valance. It's just like a really cleaner look, very, very modern, but I kind of like that extra fold. Head rail style is standard, which means it's just one single shade valance. And then two on one is obviously two different panels on one head rail. The lift position, I want it on the right since we're both right-handed, myself and my husband. Opacity, no liner. You always want to protect the fabric with the liner. You know, um, the sun will damage the fabric. So you always want to select some type of liner, whether or not it's light filtering, which means light is still going to penetrate through the fabric, or blackout, which means when you roll it down, it's completely blacked out. So I want the light filtering liner and I want it attached. I want a natural light liner color. And if you're choosing a bunch of window treatments, you always want to specify the same liner color so that when you're outside on the street, it looks exactly the same. Edge binding option, which means they'll bind the edge for you, but I don't like that look. I just want like a nice clean fabric. So I'm gonna say no edge binding, standard shipping. And two of these panels came out to 624.12 and that is including the 4th of July discount. I ordered these shades at the end of June and it took exactly four weeks for the shades to arrive right on my doorstep. That's not a bad lead time, especially during COVID, when even my wholesale trade vendors estimate about eight to 10 weeks before my custom shades are done for my residential clients. Just think, if you ordered samples for those shades today and those samples arrive maybe a week out, you can take this week to measure all of your windows Figure the type of installation you need for it. And once those samples come home, you can place the order. And in one month's time, you can completely transform the look of your favorite room in the home. I mean, how exciting is that?
So we have two custom shades here and they come with mounting hardware. If you've never installed shades before, make sure that you hang on to the instruction manual and they will tell you everything. How to install your inside mount roller shades. I have shared blinds.com with all of my e-design clients before and they all rave about the process and the quality of the materials. Everyone says it's so easy to order, they love the variety of options, and installation is actually really easy once you get that first shade down. A designer's tip is to do your homework and spec out all of the treatments that you need in your home at one time and wait for those holiday sales. Blinds.com always has amazing sales that are about 35 to 40 percent off its retail price. And these sales happen every four to six weeks, which is really great for those budget discounts. If you need more styling tips or more information on what's the perfect window treatment to place in your room, definitely check out my video on the ultimate guide to window treatments. I share tons of inspiration from room to room. I even show you installation tips for drapery panels, how high to hang the panels, how wide to hang the panels. It's really an all-inclusive look at window treatments and it breaks it down so it makes the process so much easier for you to process through. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you've ever used blinds.com. How was your experience? Was it easy to order samples? Was it easy to order the actual treatment? Were you able to understand how to measure your windows so you get the most accurate shade every time? Do you have an online vendor that you've used in the past and absolutely loved? Please share it in the comments below just in case blinds.com is not the right fit for every viewer. Share this video with anyone you know who's trying to order custom shades online and wants to install it themselves. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.